hi everyone this is mbtex and today i'm going to show you how to return an object as a json response without wasting time let us get started and here i'm going to create a simple i've created a simple list api here that is this one uh, hero a hero class that has a get method error and this method return error i want to in this to return a oh okay let me create another method i'll create another method inside this one that will be for instance a get Get mapping again. I call object and this mapping will I'll implement a, an object called user and in this user I have string first name I also have Edge here. I have a construct. I have a constructor here. Create a constructor that take. Oh, that take nothing, and I have to create a constructor that take both. Also, I can create getters in. I am not going to create get a setter for now. Now I have to return to the user this object user I got new user first name John second name First in the edge I put in Now this is an instance of an object and I want to return to this. and this because this is an object I want to return a string I get I this I'd say I want to return a use as an object. If I run this project, if you look at this, you can see we have no error here, but we got an error in our response here. That is, the status is 406, which is not accepted. It means that the request content type or the request media type is not is not required is not accepted by the browser so this is because i'm trying to return a, i'm trying to return an object which is not serialized in order to, to return an object which is right i needed to convert this into an into a string because oh by default this 
plantation perform the serialization but in our method here it is not working because we need to specify the getters and setter in our object so let, let's start to specify getters and setter in our object I can for instance insert getters and setters and set the getters and setters and try to learn an object and see how serialization will work and I uh, after this video I'm going to prepare the video for serialization in Java and now As you can see, after we have added the after I have added the getters and setter, we have been able to return a response in JSON format. This one, just uh, just JSON format. This is because it is performed serialization 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 is performed by default by this is spring framework using this annotation if we, I put here controller and if I put response response board here this response board applies controller all are embedded in this rest controller so this response board perform the serialization of the object that is to convert an object to array before to a byte array that is possible to transfer through tcp so without serialization we could not be able to get the that thanks for watching my friends uh, in the next video, I'll show you what is serialization and how serialization is performed in Spring framework.